Welcome to the November edition of the Missouri School Boards Association's Board Report. We begin with news from the state's top educational position. Missouri Education Commissioner Margie Van Dieven announced that she is resigning effective July 1st, 2024. Van Dieven informed State Board of Education members during their October meeting. Dr. Van Dieven has over 30 years of experience, including seven years as Missouri's Education Commissioner, serving from 2015 to 2017, then returning to the position in 2019. I have worked for a Democratic governor, I have worked for a Republican governor, and I have found that when we focus on students, it should be a nonpartisan issue. As I mentioned, it's not the political choice, it's the right choice. In a statement released that same day, MSBA Executive Director Melissa Randall said, Commissioner Van Dieven's announcement of her resignation at the end of the fiscal year gives us pause to celebrate the work of a transformational leader whose dedication to Missouri's children has been unwavering and inspiring. She provided guidance and leadership to Missouri's K-12 systems during some of our state's most challenging times, staying laser-focused on ensuring a quality education for every child. The commissioner has been an outspoken advocate for our teachers and has promoted strong local governance and improved investments in programs to safeguard our children. We remain committed to continuing the legacy of excellence she has fostered and look forward to working with her until her departure next year. For the past few years, Missouri school districts have seen an influx of funding courtesy of the federal government's response to the pandemic and other sources. As a result, education budgets benefited, offering support to districts across the state. MSBA Senior Finance Director Linda Quinley says that as some of that funding goes away, it's important for district leaders and communities to recognize and address the inevitable challenges ahead. We are growing more and more concerned about the fiscal funding cliff that we know we've all been watching for but is now actually here. We are looking at the end of our ESSER funds. We are also know that the DESI waivers are coming to an end. And then we have state revenues down significantly because of the tax cuts from two years ago that are continuing to roll in year after year. We also know that the enrollment and attendance numbers have remained low. So collectively, all of those things are going to impact the future opportunities for revenues for all of our schools across Missouri. And it's never too early to start planning for your school district's next budget. Budget planning is a meticulous process that requires a thorough understanding of a school's financial needs, priorities, and constraints. A school finance webinar series hosted by Linda is starting at the end of this month. Get all of the school finance information you can use from the comfort of your home or office. Our webinar series around budget planning and getting the budget to the finish line is really what we want to help people do is intended for our brand new finance leaders, whether they be superintendents, bookkeepers, finance officers. They're also intended for people who've been doing this work for a little while, but want to figure out how to make their budget a more usable document for their board, their community, and their administration. So anyone who's involved in the budgeting process inside the district is welcome to participate in this and hopefully gain some insight, some tools, and some tips to really present a great budget to their board in the spring. Topics include making and communicating the budget plan, projecting current year's actuals to springboard next year's budget, and more. Visit the MSBA website for dates for each meeting and registration information. And last, but certainly not least, thank you to all who hosted and attended MSBA's fall regional meetings. Meetings were held in all of the state's 17 regions as attendees gathered to network, learn, and share with fellow public school leaders to ensure all students succeed. That's it for this month. Thanks for allowing us to have some time at your board meeting, and we'll see you in December for the next MSBA Board Report.